Collecting minions in Final Fantasy XIV is one of the most fun things to do as a completionist, but if you're a new player, their overwhelming numbers might feel like they're too much to even begin bothering with. But what if I told you that you can get most of them from the market board, vendors or short side quests, in most cases for next to nothing? If you'd like to find out where to do it, how much it'll cost you, and which minions are the most affordable ones, even for the fresh players, stay tuned. My name is Ivona from MomsDen.com and if this is your first time on my channel, subbing is a good idea. I make simple FF14 guides that'll answer some of your questions in no time and give you some quick in-game wins. I also livestream on this channel quite a bit, so if you're a fan of simple guides, awesome communities, in-game and other highlights, I'll see you around. One of the easiest minions to obtain are the three ones sold by Oriana and Mordona, and I believe a few other vendors throughout the game, like Ruina's representatives. Wide-Eyed Fawn, Dust Bunny, and Fledgling Dodo all cost only three tombstones of poetics, and they're tradable, so people often sell them on the market board for a lot more. Don't fall for that. If you haven't purchased all the Gold Saucer minions yet, those are quite easy to obtain too. You can buy Cherry Bomb, Mammoth Number 1, and Wayward Hatchling for Gil, whereas the rest is sold for MGP. Some of them go up for 30k MGP, but that's really not that bad if you do any Gold Saucer activities throughout the week. If not, but you'd like to save up and get all those minions, check out my MGP farming guide in a pinned comment and you'll have enough in no time. You can buy all those minions at the Minion Trader, at the Minion Square in the Gold Saucer, or at the Gold Saucer Attendant in the Prize Claim 3. There are also plenty of minions you can get in exchange for your achievement certificate points in Old Gridania, over at Apkalu Falls. All you need to do is talk to Jonathas, and for 24 of these, you can purchase all of the minions. These points are obtained by playing the game and acquiring achievements, so even if you've never checked how many you have, talk to Jonathas and be sure to exchange them so you can pick up all those rewards. The next vendors you should visit are the ones in the Wolf's Den Pier. The Wolf Mark and the Crystal Quartermaster will sell you some cool minions, and while the Crystal one only costs a thousand, in order to get the minions from the Wolf Mark Quartermaster, you'll have to be almost capped on Wolf Marks. If you've been hoarding those by doing your daily frontlines with nothing else to spend them on, getting these cute minions is definitely worth it. You can also purchase a minion from your grand company at the Quartermaster in your city state. They're inexpensive and go at 20k grand company seals, which you'll obtain easily by doing expert deliveries, provisioning and such. There are two super easy minions to get from the same quest giver in Western Lanasha. Talking to Scriblid will allow you to do a level 15 quest called Like Cats and Dogs. This is the requirement for two follow-up quests from the same NPC, and they're called Curiosity Kill the Curl and Man's Best Friend. Each will award you with a super cute minion, the Curl Kitten and Wolf Pup. Another quest-related minion is the Cactuar Cutting, and for this one you'll need to complete the side quest called Zombies Are People 2. For this one, you'll need to do a bit of backpedaling if you haven't done any side quests in this area. The requirement for this quest is can't do it without you in the walking sands, and in order to have this one unlocked, you'll need to have done the Black Wolf's Ultimatum main storyline quest in Ulta. When it comes to side quests, finally we have the Chigo Larva that you'll receive by doing the quest Occupational Hazards in South Shroud. However, in order to have this quest unlocked, you'll first have to do the No Guts No Glory side quest that's also in the South Shroud but within the tavern, whereas the occupational hazards will pop outside of it. And last, but definitely not least, is the overwhelming amount of super cheap minions you can get off the market board. Some of them have been around for years and they're so inexpensive these days that farming them just makes no sense. What I mean by cheap is everything under 10k gil, with a large majority of these being cheaper than 1k. I won't go into detail on which ones they are and where you can alternatively obtain them as it will make this video too long, so I'll leave it up to you to pause the video on these slides and go spend some gil if you want to. You'll notice that a lot of easy to get minions aren't mentioned in this video, and those are mostly the ones that you'll receive by doing trials, raids, main storyline quests and other content, but they're untradeable and you can't get them straight away, that's why I didn't mention them in this guide. There's also a lot more minions to buy from the market board, but this is kind of a budget guide and some people may not want to spend more than a few thousand gil on a minion. If you're loaded, just browse through the minions category and knock yourself out. And that's all I've got for you today. 
Do you know any other easy to get minions? Let me know in the comments and if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, do it now, as there's a new video every day that you won't want to miss. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so here as a YouTube channel member or over on Patreon. And if this guide was useful to you and you'd like to leave a tip, you can do so through YouTube things just under this video. Thanks to everyone who's keeping the lights on, especially our alphas like Kathy Spear on YouTube memberships, as well as Andyman and Elijah Baker over on Patreon. Have fun collecting and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.